welcome to the new video on flat in this video we are going to talk about two way finite automata a two way deterministic finite automaton or 2 dfa is a quintuple that is m is equal to q sigma delta q not f where q sigma q not and f are as in dfa that is deterministic finite automata if you remember q is the set of states sigma is the input alphabet q not is the initial state and f is the set of final states in case of dfa while in case of dfa delta maps q cross sigma into q but in this case in case of two way finite automata delta is a mapping from q cross sigma into q cross lr l stands for left and r for right if you recall the block diagram of finite automata in this case we have restricted the movement of reading head towards right only but in case of two way finite automata the input tape head can move in both direction that is right as well as in left direction the machine starts on the leftmost symbol of the input in the initial state that is in the state q not at any time depending on the state and the symbol read the automaton changes its state and moves its step head left or right as described in the move now what is the condition for acceptance of a input if the automaton moves off at the right end of the input tape in a final state then the input is said to be accepted that is after processing entire symbols of the string if you are reaching in the final state then that input is going to be accepted then what is the condition for rejection of the input in three ways the input can be rejected the first way is moving off the right end of the input tape in a non final state second one states that moving off the left end of the tape and third one is the getting into a loop for describing a particular state of two way finite automata we use a term instantaneous description or id an instantaneous description of the automaton is a string in sigma star q sigma star suppose wqx is an id then the input is wx and the currently the state is q and the automaton is going to be reading the first symbol of x let us understand this concept by an example suppose we have input symbol or input string w is equal to a1 a2 a i minus 1 a i a i plus 1 till a n this is the input string a1 to a n the automaton is currently in state q and suppose the symbol it is going to read is a i we can represent it diagrammatically as well let us assume this is the tape divided into cells a 
each capable of holding one symbols so suppose this is the left hand marker and this is the right hand marker and we are having a1 a2 till ai minus 1 ai ai plus 1 till an currently the tape head is reading the symbol ai and the state is q so at this situation the id will be a1 a2 tail a i minus 1 q a i a i plus 1 tail a n we can see that this is the w part and this is the x part if we compare it with w q x bar. so the first symbol of x is what ai and this is going to be read by the automaton now suppose we are having delta defined as delta q ai is equal to pr so what does it signifies the movement of input tape head will be in the right direction and the next state will be p so we can easily interpret this that this head is going to move in right direction and next input symbol is going to be the ai plus 1 and state is going to be changed to p so what will be the current id we can write it a1 a2 tail ai minus 1 ai then p ai plus 1 tail an so the next input symbol is ai plus 1 suppose instead of having delta q ai is equal to pr we have pl then what will be the outcome after reading ai the input tape head will move towards left so the next input symbol will be a i minus 1 so we can write id for this configuration as well that is a1 a2 till a i minus 2 p a i minus 1 a i ai plus 1 till an so this part is denoting w this part is denoting x the next input symbol is the first symbol of x that is ai minus 1 and state changes from q to p so this way we can write instantaneous description for two-way finite automata. If from IDI the automaton goes to IDI plus 1 in one move, we can represent by this symbol. IDI moves to IDI plus 1. The language accepted by a 2DFA m is equal to q sigma delta q naught f is defined as tm is equal to w 
such that W belongs to star closure of sigma and the ID is Q0 W goes to WQF in zero or more step for some QF belonging to final state. If you recall the condition for acceptance of the input, we have to reach in the final state after processing entire symbols of the string. So all such strings will constitute the language accepted by 2DFA. You can easily see the initial condition. We are in the initial state Q0 and entire string is going to be read. After processing, the string has been processed, entire symbol of the string has been read and we are in the final state. So all such string will constitute the language accepted by this 2DFA. Let us understand this with an example. Consider the following 2DFA, M is equal to Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. All these are members of Q, that is a state. AB, the input alphabet. Delta is given by this table. Q0 is the initial state. And final state is Q2, subset of Q. So what does it, this table tells us? state and input q0 is the initial state upon reading a it goes to q1 and movement is towards right upon reading b q1 left q1 upon reading a will go to state q0 and movement of input tap head will be in the left direction similarly q3 right q1 left Q2 right, Q2 left, Q2 left. So this is the transition table. Now, suppose we are given input string W is equal to ABB. We will try to process this string by this DFA. So we can represent this string like this. A, B, B and we have to start in the state Q0. So all the transitions are defined by the table, this transition table. Q0 upon reading A goes to Q1 and the input tap head moves towards right. So we can represent this with an ID also. Initial configuration is what? Q0 ABB. If you remember the initial configuration, W is the string, Q0 is the initial state. After one move, the input tape head goes to next symbol. That means A state is Q1 B. So if we want to denote this configuration by a diagram, then this is the correct configuration. Next, after processing, Q1, input symbol is B. So again, movement of input tape is in the right direction. And state is Q3. So we can represent it A, B, Q3, B, this situation. Next, Q3 upon reading B is what? Q2 L, means the movement of input tape is in the left direction, that is a q2 bb so the current configuration is a q2 bb if we read the table q2 upon reading b is what q2 r so next move will be 
a b q to b again state is same q2 and next symbol is b so after reading again we are going to have configuration a b b q2 so entire symbol of the string has been read and we are reaching at the state q2 which is the final state so as per the definition we know if we are moving from this configuration in zero or more step to this configuration qf belonging to f then we are going to say that the string is accepted so we are going to say that a b b is accepted by this 2d f a as an assignment try to process a b b a a a b and also try to find out the language accepted by this 2d f a thank you